we're sat in Mrs. Powerful Tesla Model 3 and it's gone wrong. Um, so what has gone wrong on the Tesla Model 3? We're gonna have a look at that, but more interestingly, we're gonna show how cool Tesla is and it lets you diagnose the problem to a degree yourself, which would be really cool if it could do that on Land Rovers and other stuff. They give you full access. So let's have a look. So let's have a look at what the problem is. So if I put the car in drive, um, we get this park assist unavailable. The first thing you should always do with a Tesla is if you press these two buttons on the steering wheel while pressing the brake it will do a complete reboot of the system. Now we've done that and I think in most cases that probably won't fix this issue. It will fix many issues but I don't think it's going to fix this issue from what I've read. Right now here's the cool thing. We're going to go into the service mode and look at the diagnostics. So if we just go to the home menu here and then if we hit the software button here Okay, and then if you press and hold where it says the Model 3 here, if you wait a minute, it will pop up with uh, asking us for a password. Should do, anyway. Um, oh, let me check I'm in park. I might have to be, right, here you go. And then you go, right, enter the access code. So the access code is simply service. So, service, and then press OK. Right, and it tells you, be careful what you're doing, okay? we enter that right now you'll notice everything stops in the car um, and you get this big red border with service mode so let it just get into service mode now for park assist we need to go into the driver assistance modules and then it says do you want to look at the cameras or the sensors now this is interesting because Tesla, ha I think they've had problems with the parking sensors and they're actually binning all the parking sensors on the new models and they've gone over to cameras. So they're using the cameras to see things and using like, AI and intelligence because let's face it, we don't have parking sensors um, ourselves and we manage to park cars just by looking at our surroundings. So clearly it should be possible and Tesla are getting good. Right, so let's go into sensors and see what it's telling us. So you can see, now I'll put a picture on the screen now of what it should look like, but you can see it's not very happy. So I don't think it can see any of these front sensors at all. Um, and it's just got lost communications. We've got a lot of red going on and we've got this sort of VC right. So I think that's like a vehicle controller. So basically it's not happy. So we've got to go into Tesla and get this sorted. Um, so although the diagnostic's good, um, it hasn't told us. Now, if you've got a parking sensor out, hopefully it would tell you one parking sensor's out or a lost communication with one parking sensor. I mean, this does say sensor one, lost communication but it doesn't tell me the others are just gray so i'm i i it looks like it's lost communication to the whole systems so right and so if you want to do that let's show you how to get out of exit mode so if you just press the car icon here and then it gives you an option on the screen here to exit service mode right now um, we will finish this video. We will tell you what Tesla say. So the car's going into, we've got to drive to Bristol now and take it to the Tesla service station. And they're normally a little bit abstract about what's gone wrong with the car, but hopefully they'll tell us and we can let you guys know. The car's still under warranty. How old is it now? It's needed an MOT. So I think we're, um, we're three years into ownership on this one. But other than that, this thing is pretty robust. Right, let's just, I'll update you now as soon as we hear from the Tesla service. And actually, it was another interesting thing. Tesla can remotely access into your car, which they've done, I believe. And they, they get a trained technician to come in and look at, I guess, the same sort of information we've looked at. And they've gone, nah, need to bring your car in. So let's take it in. Right, we've arrived at the Tesla service station. We're not even gonna go and see anyone. You just register on your app that you're all here and parked up and they will come and take it away. I don't know what the Defender's in for though. Hmm. So I guess they're gonna tell us when it's ready, but there you go, nice looking Defender. Wonder why, what's the Defender doing? Does a Tesla technician drive one? Will we ever know? Right, without even talking to anyone, they sent us a message on the app saying your car's ready for collection. So, right, so they said it was a parking sensor needed replacing. Is that what they said on the app, Caroline? Yeah, so let's go and see what the, that, let's, for the banter, let's go and have a look, um, what it says in here. 
Now, so let's press and hold this. You've thrown it for a while. Now, get, it's when you let go, it puts it in service mode. There you go. Service. Okay. Enter. Right, it's shutting everything down, booting up the service mode. Here we go. And let's go to the driver assist function. Okay, and then let's go to sensors. And let's see what the screen looks like. So, it's ordered that... It was a bit confusing because you saw that display we had where it was everything was grey, not green, and the whole connection was. Um, but they said it was just one sensor that was faulty. Um, I'm not convinced. But anyway, if the one sensor was faulty, why did the diagnostics not show green on everything else and just red on that one? We shall never know. Because look, it didn't even show the real ones. Um, we will never know. But anyway, I hope that helps you if you have faulty parking sensors. They did it very quickly. It was painless. We've had to drive 80 odd miles to get to the service center. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but we've done some shopping. Um, so there we go. Good luck with your Tesla fixing. I just thought I'd have a look. Now the sensor that it said was faulty was this one here, the, this front outer one, as far as I could tell. But you tell me. Does that look like it's a new sensor? It looks like it's got some sort of debris and flies on it to me. Right, we were a bit confused, so we went and asked the tech who was super helpful, all credit to Tesla, and he said that the message, I'll put it on the screen, it said it was loose, and then it said something else, and he said, that's all nonsense, that's all AI generated, because I was worried we would get charged for like because obviously if you damage your car it's not tesla's fault but he said no it's just an ai generated random message but the parking sensor was replaced it was the far left one um so there we go it's a bit dirty don't know quite why but um it has been replaced he assured us that's all good so we are now ready to go right good luck